Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to answer to a question how to use the 3D contact as the slider. So what does it mean? If you place the, some object on the planar surface and then you will move the planar surface based on the angle movement, the system will move this cube for example. Yeah, so simple to say, you can see here that if I will spin the plate, the system will automatically use the as the slider. So you can see here that if I run this analysis system going really nicely and it's based everything on the 3D contact and gravity. And how to simulate? Okay, I will start from end that you have seen how it works and now I'm going to go to the assembly and I will show you all necessary preferences. First of all is that if you will create and place, I will start from the snapshot too, because this is my starting position. And what does it mean? You can create the axis directly on the plate. So if I will open the plate on this plate is the one axis directly here, because around this axis, I'd like to use the movement of this plate as the pin connection. So simply to say, if I will select the dragger, it's possible to drag and rotate around the axis. Yeah, so the plate was really easy because if I will select the definition or where there is the pin constraint and you are able to select the necessary constraint. If you would like to know more about the pin constraint, please check the previous tutorial. The second thing is that I have placed the cube and if you place the cube, I can select the definition and the cube is placed it as the 60 of so six degree of freedom and if you would like to move you are able to use the dragger and place the current and set the current placement or if you will select control alt and middle button you are able to spin model or right mouse button move and also you can move and place as you want yeah so that's great and also then if you will set all preferences, you are able to use the dragger. So what does it mean? If I would like to make the screen of the current position, I will hit this current snapshot. It's a current position. Or if I will reuse the previous one, it's fine. So let's continue now with the 3D contact. If you would like to create the 3D contact, you have to jump into application and mechanism. And over here directly is the 3D contact. Now, if you will select the 3D contact system, ask you for the reference, you can select the reference plate. Yeah, this one. And as the second reference point means that you can select the point really. And then the system will show you the vertex radius. If you will specify, for example, five millimeters, the vertex radius will be five. If you will select only one millimeter, will be one. So you see there is some distance between connected surfaces, but okay, you can use the really small value and it will be okay. And as for this example, what I have used, you can see that I am using standard default configuration. So if I will select the definition, I have set two millimeters and in the contact, I have used the default constraint properties. So, and if you would like to change, you are able to select your custom material and you can set your custom poison ratio, young models or dumping. For this example was quite well. And as you can see, I push it everything and at the end was created the servo motor. Servo motor was directly for the movement on the plate because I like to have some movement of the plate based on the angle. So simple to say, if I will select the definition, you see here, that was definite by angular velocity and for example 10 degree per second and at the end the analysis if i will jump into analysis and add the definition i have reduced the dynamic analysis yeah because the default was the position and then what i'm using it's the one servo motor and external load i have enabled gravity so also over here is the gravity you can check if your direction of the gravity looks good and it's good orientation and in the preferences for now i calculated only one second because it's a really small one and angle was 10 degree per second so 
looks good and then you can choose your custom frame rate and run analysis I hope so that this quick example how to specify the 3D contact as the slider on the planar surface was quite excellent and please leave me a comment and thank you and bye bye Vladimir